guys, it's Armin. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. I hope you stick around. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below as well as the notification bell so you can be told when I make a new video. Today, I am doing a video that honestly I needed back when I first read Chain of Gold and now that I'm rereading Chain of Gold, I, I literally had to do this again. So I figured I would share it with you guys as well because there are so many characters in Chain of Gold. I literally cannot keep track of all of them and to make it even worse, half of them are related to characters in the Infernal Devices so in my brain I'm trying to keep track of all the characters not only as new characters but as how they relate to old characters so it's just a big mess in my head I've literally had to make a little family tree notation in my book so I could figure out who's who disclaimer this video will have a lot of spoilers for characters from the infernal devices so don't watch this video if you have not read the infernal devices go read the infernal devices because you're missing out and then come back and watch this video Anyways, getting started on the video. First off, you have the children of Tessa and Will from the Infernal Devices. Um, they're a little bit easier to keep track of because they're literally two of the main main characters in the book and um, they are the only Herondels, so it's kind of a little bit easier to keep track of and that is James and Lucy. So first you have James who is the son of Tessa and Will and he's like the main character in this book aside from Cordelia so it's a little bit easier to keep track of him and then obviously you have Lucy everybody loves Lucy and also she's a little bit easier to keep track of so I won't spend too much time on them next you have Matthew Fairchild who is the child of Charlotte Branwell and Henry is he is that right I'm literally forgetting <laughs> next you have Matthew Fairchild who is the child of Charlotte and Henry also from the infernal devices um, and Charlotte was the head of the Institute and is now the consul and Henry is the resident inventor who is everybody's favorite um, he doesn't really pay attention to much else other than his inventions which is also confusing because then you have Christopher who is a mini Henry but is not Henry's kid so again with the mixed personalities. Anyways, Matthew is their kid. Um, Matthew is basically a small will. Like I said, he is very troubled. He has a lot of a lot of things going on that nobody really knows about, but he's a sweetheart and we love him. Where it starts to get complicated is with the Lightwoods because there are two Lightwood families because there are two Lightwood brothers. So you have Gabriel Lightwood and Gideon Lightwood. Um, I almost called them Lightworm both times because of Benedict Lightworm, but we're not gonna get into that. Anyways, first you have Gideon Lightwood who is married to Sophie from the Infernal Devices. We love Sophie and their kids are I'm gonna have to check my family tree because I've forgotten. And their kid is Thomas Lightwood. He has two sisters, Barbara and Eugenia. Barbara is sort of in the book a little bit more, so she's important, but as of like the main Mary Thieves, Thomas is the only kid you gotta keep track of. He is very tall. He did a year in Spain and he used to be very small. So now the fact that he's tall is very important. Um, and we love Thomas. I literally can't tell him apart other than the fact that he's tall. I'm sorry. I just, I, there's so many, there's so many of them. And then on the other end, you have Cecily and Gabriel Lightwood and their kids are a little bit more confusing for me. First you have Anna Lightwood, who we love Anna, but like she is just this sort of nebulous concept for me. Like I love her and she's there, but I could not for the life of me remember where she fit into the relationships. I just knew that she existed. Um, but now that I've made the family tree, I realized she is Christopher's older sister. Christopher Lightwood, the one who is a mini Henry and loves his test tubes and beakers and science is Anna's younger brother. And for some reason they didn't have a character card for him. So I will put the art up here because I think it's it's here now. Um, he's a cutie. We love him. Um, he's a small, he's a small child, but this is his older sister. Yeah, so from the two Lightwood families, you have Thomas on one side and Anna and Christopher on the other side. And I'm going to try to keep those straight in my head because I literally cannot figure out who is who. Then you have Tatiana Blackthorne, whose kids are Jesse and Grace. Jesse is her actual kid and he is dead. Grace is her adopted ward and Grace should be dead because we hate Grace on this channel. So I'm not gonna spend any time on her. And finally, you have the kids of Sona and Elias Carstairs who is related to Jem Carstairs and their kids are Alistair and Cordelia Carstairs. 
We love Cordelia. She is the badass female protagonist, and she is probably the easiest to tell apart because first of all, she's on the main cover. She is brown, she has red hair, and she has Cortana, and she you can't really confuse her with anybody else because there aren't really many other car stairs in this series. So um, yeah, we have Cordelia. And then in terms of side characters who get confusing, you have Ariadne Bridgestock, who is the adopted daughter of the Inquisitor. Also, what I forgot to mention is that Matthew Fairchild has an older brother, Charles, who is sort of going to be taking over after his mother um, as consul. So he's like the political one who um, everybody's a little bit wary of, like nobody really loves him, loves him. Uh, and he's the older brother. And so Matthew is the younger brother who is obviously very different from his older brother. So um, that's an interesting dynamic playing out. And again, I read this a year ago and I'm just now rereading it. So if I've missed anything, definitely let me know down below. Um, but I just thought I would make this little reference for you guys because I know I needed it and I needed to talk through all of the characters and where they fit into this big old Shadowhunter family tree. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if this was helpful in any way. Um, and if I missed any characters let me know and as always don't forget to subscribe so you can be told when i make a new video because hopefully i'll be posting new content very soon thank you guys for watching bye, -bye.